हेलो एवरी वन असलम वेलकम टू द न्यू लेक्चर ऑन मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री दिस इज मी फराज कुरबान राजपैर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट द एस ए आर ऑफ थाइड डायोरेटिक दैट इज द स्ट्रक्चर एक्टिविटी रिलेशनशिप ऑफ थाइड डायोरेटिक इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट फंक्शनल ग्रुप ऑन द केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर एंड ऑन द बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी दैट इज द डायोरेटिक एक्टिविटी ऑफ द डिफरेंट थाइड डायोरेटिक्स एस ए आर ऑफ थाइड डायोरेटिक देर आर द डिफरेंट ड्रग्स दैट कम्स अंडर द क्लास ऑफ द थाइड डायोरेटिक्स लाइक क्लोर थाइजाइड हाइड्रोक्लोर थाइजाइड एंड बेंड्रोफ्लोमी थाइजाइड दीज ड्रग्स हैव द मेकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ द थाइड डायोरेटिक बट they are differing from one and other by the presence or absence of different functional group like the basic ring nucleus that is present in these type of diuretic is the benzothiazide 11 dioxide nucleus that we have already discussed in the other lecture of the thiazide diuretic the chlorothiazide is basically the simplest member of the thiazide diuretic which have the pk value of the 6.7 and 9.5 This is the basic ring nucleus that is the benzothiazide 11 dioxide that is present in these type of the thiazide diuretic. So in this you may observe that the benzene ring is fused with the heterocyclic ring that is the thiazide ring and in this at the first position you may observe the sulfon group and the second position nitrogen 3 and the sixth position we have the halogen chlorine and the seventh position have the sulfonamide group. so now we have to check out the effect of the different functional group or the substitution at each and every site of this thiazide diuretic first let's check out the position number 1 and 2 of the thiazide diuretic at the position number 1 you may observe that the sulfon group is present in the thiazide diuretic this is the sulfon group this sulfon group has the electron withdrawing effect on the thiazide diuretic chemical structure and this is the essential for the activity of the thiazide diuretic means the diuretic activity is achieved by this sulfon group means it has the role in the diuretic activity its substitution will ultimately reduce the diuretic activity of the thiazide diuretic at the second position you may observe that we have this acidic proton that is linked or that is bonded with the nitrogen atom the this impart the acidic value to the thiazide diuretic because of the electron withdrawing group of its adjacent sulfon group so this must be left unsubstituted or in certain cases it can be used for the synthesis of the different salt derivative beside this if we are going to substitute this second number position with the alkyl group it will cause the decrease in the polarity of the molecule and it will enhances the duration of action of the diuretic means once this second position nh group is being substituted with any type of alkyl like methyl propyl butyl or any type of alkyl group it will cause the reduction in polarity means the new molecule or the new drug derivative that will be formed will be the non polar derivative and this non polar derivative will have the higher duration of action means what we we can say that that derivative can be the long acting in the action position number 3 this is the position number 3 of thiazide diuretic say suppose if we are going to substitute this third number position of thiazide diuretic with any type of non polar functional group or any type of lipophilic group it will ultimately result in the uh, derivative of diuretic that will have the high potency means the its uh, action of diuresis will be enhanced the high potent diuretic will be the form 
like if we are going to substitute with third position with the hello alkyl aryl alkyl thioether these are the different functional group if they are being substituted at this third number position what we will get we will get the different derivative that will have the high lipid solubility means they have the high lipophilic characteristic they will be more nonpolar and these compound will ultimately have the longer duration of action and what we will can say that the long acting are the extended diuretic so the example of these diuretic are the thiazide diuretic that can be formed by the third position substitution is the benzothiazide that have the three benzyl thiomethyl group at this third number position the next is the third and fourth position double bond in the chlorothiazide you may observe that the, at the third and fourth position we have this double bond this double bond is essential for the diuretic activity but if we are going to convert this double bond into the single bond or what we say the saturation of this double bond uh, that is present at the third and fourth position or the reduction of this double bond will convert the thiazide diuretic in the 3,4 dihydro derivative and that 3,4 dihydro derivative also have the maximum diuretic activity it has the high potency its diuretic action is the 10 fold or 10 time greater than the unsaturated derivative the example of the derivative that is formed by the reduction of this third and fourth position double bond or the saturation of this third and fourth position double bond is the hydrochlorothiazide means if uh, someone asks you that why hydrochlorothiazide is more potent or why it has the more active thiazide activity than the chlorothiazide the reason uh, that is related with its chemical structure is that the hydrochlorothiazide has the single bond between the third and fourth position while the uh, chlorothiazide has the double bond at the third and fourth position and this slight variation in the structure or the reduction or saturation of double bond results in the high potent or the tenfold time more thiazide diuretic activity in the hydrochlorothiazide the next is the position number six at the position number six you may observe that the electron withdrawing group is essential for the high diuretic activity means if we are going to synthesize the diuretic thiazide diuretic class then we must substitute the sixth position of the thiazide diuretic with any type of electron withdrawing group it can be chloro it can be trifluoromethyl the chloro and trifluoromethyl thiazide diuretic are already reported like chloro Mm, chlorothiazide diuretic is the chlorothiazide and it is also present in the hydrochlorothiazide in which the sixth position have the chlorine beside this the trifluoromethyl the trifluoromethyl is that derivative of thiazide diuretic in which the sixth position is being substituted with the trifluoromethyl trifluoromethyl is also uh, electron withdrawing group but this diuretic have the high lipid solubility more lipophilic characteristic as compared to those that have the chlorine group at the sixth position and due to this they have the higher or longer duration of action in comparison to the chloro substituted analog the example of the thiazide diuretic that have the trifluoromethyl group at the sixth number position is the bendroflumethiazide Beside this, if we are going to substitute this sixth position with the electron releasing group, what electron releasing group? The example are the methyl group, methoxy group. They will cause the reduction in diuretic effect. So, in nutshell, what we say that at sixth position for the optimum diuretic effect, electron withdrawing group must be present. 
if electron drawing group is uh, being substituted with the electron releasing group its diuretic activity will be reduced further there are the two type of the electron withdrawing group that can be substituted like uh, halogen and the trifluoromethyl the trifluoromethyl that is present in the bendofluoromethyl right? so uh, you can also uh, differentiate among the bendroflumethiazide and the hydrochlorothiazide on the basis of this six position functional group. So if someone asks you that what is the difference between the bendroflumethiazide and the thiazide diuretic chlorothiazide, you can give answer according to this six position functional group. Now let's check out the seventh position. At the seventh position, you may observe that uh, we have the sulfonamide group present in the thiazide diuretic. This sulfonamide group is essential for the diuretic effect of the thiazide diuretic. It enhances the acidity value or the acidic characteristic in the thiazide diuretic molecule, but it has the less acidic characteristic than this second number position acidic proton. If we are going to substitute or remove the sulfonamide group at the 7th position, we will have the diuretic derivative that will have the little or none, no any diuretic activity. So, what is important? This 7th position sulfonamide group must be left unsubstituted or it must be present at this 7th position it must not be replaced with any other functional group because it will result in the loss of diuretic effect of the thiazide diuretic. Now let's check out the position number 4th, 5th and 8th. This one, this is 4th, 5th and this is the position 8th. You may observe the in the chemical structure of chlorothiazide, hydrochlorothiazide and bendroflumethiazide that we do not have the any type of substitution at these sites so these sites must be left unsubstituted if we are going to direct substitution of these 4 5 and 8 with the ethyl group this will result in the loss of diuretic activity so they must be unsubstituted salt formation as far as the salt formation of thiazide diuretic is concerned the second number position acidic proton that are the nh proton can be utilized for the formation of the sodium salt of the chlorothiazide and now this uh, salt sodium salt of chlorothiazide will have the high water solubility due to which it can be a more suitable for the intravenous route of administration like this is the reaction mechanism for the salt formation this is the chlorothiazide when it is reacted with the sodium hydroxide it will result in the formation of sodium salt at this second number position so we have as we have already discussed in previous slide that uh, the second number position acidic proton can be utilized in the salt formation and that salt derivative will be suitable for the intravenous route of administration. So now let's check out the summary of this entire SAR of thiazide diuretic. We have discussed that at the first position, the sulfone group must be unsubstituted. At second position, highly acidic proton is essential for the diuretic activity. At the third position, we can substitute the different lipophilic or the nonpolar functional group. And these lipophilic group will uh, increase uh, in the extended or the highly acting diuretic activity. Different derivative that will have the extended effect. At the third uh, and fourth position, we have the double bond. If we are going to cause the saturation or the reduction of this double bond, it will increase the high potent or the diuretic that will have the 10 times more diuretic activity. That is the hydrochlorothiazide. At the sixth position, the electron withdrawing group is essential for the diuretic effect. If this uh, electron withdrawing group is being substituted with the electron releasing group, then it will result in the loss of activity. The halogen and the trifluoromethyl are the example of electron withdrawing group. At the seventh position, the sulfonamide group must be present in the chlorothiazide or the different thiazide diuretic. If we are going to substitute this sulfonamide group with any other functional group, then it will result in the loss of diuretic activity. 
Beside this, the position number 458 must be left unsubstituted. Substitution of this with any type of other functional group will result in the loss of diuretic activity. So this was all about the SAR of thiazide diuretic.